I had to really push through and get to a point where I felt like it's okay to not know. Let the art create itself uh, and, and be okay with where you end up. The works that I produce currently, some of them are representational, some of them are abstract. I'm in a transition phase. Uh, the representational work comes from my many years as a graphic illustrator where most of the time uh, I had to uh, create images, illustrations of things that were representational. Abstractions and you know stylizing things that are still recognizable or going full abstract is a way to penetrate that representational surface. So um, how do you, what, is, what does speed look like? What does fear look like? That sure, you can, there are ways that you can convey those things, human emotions, uh, representationally, but I feel like they have more impact, could have potentially more impact if you do so in a kind of an abstract sense. I will mix sand into some of my paintings and I call it placed based meaning. So for example, I have some sand from Ghana on the coast adjacent to one of the old forts where enslaved people used to be held before they were transported uh, across the Atlantic. And so that sand has meaning because of the place it came from. Uh, if the materials I use, if the meaning behind those materials uh, isn't evident to uh, the people viewing the art, does it have meaning? The way I wrestle with that paradox is it has meaning to those people. Probably different though. It might trigger some memory, uh, a smell, a taste, uh, a sound they heard when they were a kid. Uh, one of the things I haven't mentioned is that uh, my name is Quasi. I have another name, my given name uh, at birth, and I still use that name. When I am in my creative space, I am Quasi. When I'm at my job or elsewhere, I, I'm, I'm using my uh, given name. Uh, and so it, it really uh, grounds me and binds me to the creative practice. The word practice is something I typically associate with, like a medical practice or a law practice. And so I love the idea of elevating art to a practice because in my, in my opinion, it is uh, just as important, just as valuable. So I feel like, uh, I feel like a revolutionary every time uh, I go into the studio. So I actually don't feel bad about sitting there for an hour and staring at a canvas or staring at a piece of art uh, and just contemplating, being in that contemplative space. Now, there have been other times when I've been in the studio and I've just been on fire. I was here a few weeks back. It was a Saturday, so I'd been here for hours working. I have a flock of chickens at home and it's important to lock up the chicken coop at night to keep the snakes and the rats and the raccoons out. And I was really struggling because I was just burning. I mean, I was into this painting and I was just having such a good time. Uh, but it's like, ah, I gotta go because I gotta go home and lock up the chickens. Life has come. Yeah. <laughs>